Registration of biocidal products. In the EU, you can only sell biocidal products that are safe to use and effective against harmful organisms. Before placing a biocidal product on the market, it must be registered with competent authorities. They evaluate if it's safe and effective. If it's not registered, you can't sell it or you break the law. Please know that I use the word registration as a general term for procedures related to biocidal products. These procedures are notification, national authorization and union authorization. So where to start? When to apply for notification, authorization or union authorization? What is the difference between them? It all starts with your formulation and particularly with active substances. To decide which procedure is applicable in, in a specific situation, you must first determine active substances and their approval status. Let's check the list of active substances. Remember ethanol? What can we learn from the list? Under approval status, it says, Initial application for approval in progress. Opinion development by biocidal products committee. It means that the application for approval of ethanol is still in progress. In other words, ethanol has not been approved yet. As you can see, the approval status is indicated for each product type, for each use. So let's take a look at another example, isopropanol. The approval status is different. Unlike ethanol, isopropanol has already been approved and for all product types. What are the possible options? Besides the approval in progress and approved, the status could also be not approved, expired, cancelled or no longer supported. All the last four options indicate that the substance is no longer considered a biocidal active substance. As a result, products based on such substances are no longer considered biocidal products. Any biocidal claims on the label of such products would therefore be considered false or misleading. So how does the approval status affect the registration process? If the active substance is already approved, you can apply for national authorization or union authorization of a biocidal product. On the other hand, if the approval of an active substance is still in progress, you can only apply for local notification of a biocidal product. In the case of mixtures containing two or more active substances, you can only apply for union or national authorization and only when the active substances are approved. To put it differently, unless all substances are approved, you can only apply for the notification, not authorization. So what's the difference between authorizations? The decision on the type of authorization depends on your business plan and goals. In general, with union authorization, you submit one application for the entire European market. On the other hand, you submit national authorization in one member state and apply for mutual recognition in other member states of your choice. Here's an example. Um, you know that you will exclusively sell your biocidal product in Germany and Austria. In this case, you submit the initial application in Germany, for example, and apply for mutual recognition in Austria or vice versa. However, if you're planning to sell your biocidal product in many member states, it's recommended to think about the union authorization. So why would someone even think about national authorization if they can apply for union authorization and get the entire EU market? Well, the more states, the more stars. Getting the authorization for the entire EU market takes longer, costs more, and is slightly more complex than a national authorization. Just for illustration, the administrative fee for the union authorization costs 80,000 euro. And this is just to start. National authorization fees are normally much lower, but the amount can quickly surpass the union fee if you add mutual recognition fees for many member states. As far as time is concerned, plan for at least three years for completing authorization. And note that this is a very, very, very optimistic timeline. If your product has lots of uses and more active substances, 
add a few more years to that. So again, choose wisely depending on your plans and goals. How about the notification? Well, not the notification is applicable when an active substance is not yet approved, which means good news. Here's why. Compared to authorizations, it's quick and cheap. However, there is a downside. The notification is only a temporary transitional measure and it's only valid until the active substance gets approved. After the approval, you will have to apply for the authorization. You cannot avoid authorization. You can apply for the notification in a member state, but the process is not the same everywhere. It varies between countries. So are the costs and the duration. The costs of getting the product on the market start at 500 euro. The entire process may take from a couple of uh, weeks to up to a year. And the requirements and the complexity are more or less the same across the EU. Warning, important information. As I said before, the notification is a temporary measure that applies before the approval of an active substance. However, Keeping in mind that the authorization process may take at least three years, the notification grants you the right to keep the product on the market during this time. For example, your product contains an active substance that is still under review. Approval in progress. Good news, you apply for the notification in countries where you sell your biocidal product. After the approval of the active substance, you apply for the authorization of a product. In the meantime, you can keep the product on the market until you complete the authorization. This is important. If you miss the deadline for the notification, you can only apply for authorization, but in the meantime, you cannot sell the product. You'll have to wait until the authorization is complete before you'll be able to sell the product. So, when is the deadline for for the notification. The deadline depends on the active substance. Here's an example. Icaridine has already been approved, but there is still some time before the approval start date. The approval start date is normally published 18 months in advance. So if your product contains Icaridine, you can still apply for the notification in specific EU member states, but you'll also have to apply for authorization before February 1st 2022, of course, provided that you're watching this video before this date. Otherwise, um, I'm sorry, you're too late. And here's the bonus tip. Your formulation controls the registration process. In other words, the registration process depends on the formulation and active ingredients. So if, if you want to buy some time before completing authorization, you can develop a formulation that contains a substance that is still under review. Such a product would be out of scope for authorization and you'll be able to apply for the notification, which is much quicker and cheaper to complete. If you're interested in chemical regulations and practical tips, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on LinkedIn. So see you next time.